Hi friends, Yari here with Third Eye Yari, and I am a fun and safe psychic medium who helps people awaken. We're going to start today with the Sacred Forest for the current energy. I love it. The unexpected with the spell casting oracle. you need to hear with with okay wisdom of the hidden realms and good stuff with earth magic and the tarot I'm using is that gold foil arrow it's very shiny and it's so pretty it's so pretty Okay. Sorry, I just was taking a sip of my drink. All right. So let's see what Spirit want to tell us. And I'm going to lay down all the cards so we can do a reading. And I always do this. I don't know why I put them so low. I just don't think about it until I lay them down. <clears throat> All right. All right. So the current energy is success. This is what, and I'm telling you, yesterday, what was it? Um, I can't remember, but I can't remember exactly what the card was. But it was, it, it, we've been having all these um, readings about, you know, business and success and abundance. And here you go, success. So, and, and this does not necessarily mean business. It can be having a successful um, college education or having a successful marriage or a successful day. Uh, doing a presentation or having a successful surgery. I mean, whatever it is for you, that's what you're focusing on and it's going to be successful for sure. And it's number 34. 34 is that um, Empress energy. And a good friend of mine that I was doing a reading for reminded me that it's also the Trinity, right? So, yeah, we need to keep that in mind. Um, and then the four is, um, is a solid foundation. And then the 34 is seven, which is a very spiritual number. Um, and she also reminded me that it was the last words of Jesus. It was seven words. So we have all of that going for us. It's, it's a beautiful energy. It's a very inspiring very positive very and very connected energy with the divine okay so where's where you're coming from you're coming from the ten of wands in reverse the ten of wands is a very 
uh, heavy energy. It's well, it, it depends on where it falls. Some people say it's like carrying the, the weight of the world in your shoulders. But to me and to other readers that I've seen, this is um, like you're about to harvest. You know, you're about to pick up the, the you know, the fruits of your labor. But this was in the reverse. So this already happened. Okay. This already happened. You have worked really hard. But now you have the fool in the reverse. And the fool in the reverse means that you're hesitant to take the next the next step like you you've done a lot of work you've done doing that but then it's like mm, do I really want to do that I know this is the next step but it's like a hesitation it's it's not so much paralyzing fear it's like it's hesitation it's like I'm not sure Maybe it's something that is taking you out of your comfort zone. Maybe it's something that you have never done. Well, that's the same thing, right? Taking you out of your comfort zone. So it's it's an energy like that. So it's not it's not a complete. I ain't doing that. It's more like a hesitation, right? It's it's more like a, that's the energy that I'm getting. Because other times it's just like a denial. It's like I'm not doing that. But that's not the energy that I'm getting. The energy that I'm getting is a hesitation. So you're kind of thinking about it, but you're like, mm, I don't know. I don't know if I can do that. And you know, as long you have this uh, six, six of wands in reverse, which told me immediately, I'm looking at the back of the, these cards. These cards are so pretty. Aren't they pretty? They're so shiny. I have to put them at an angle because it lights the shine of my lamp in my face. <laughs> Anyhow, so this one came in the reverse and this is a victory lap. So, you know, what, what Taro is telling me right now is that if you don't take that next step that you know you should take, you're not going to have that victory lap. So go ahead and do that. You know what? I'm going to move this a little bit. Ooh, yeah, I was shining right on my face. Okay, so then the unexpected Ugh. the unexpected is willpower you know you're hesitant but as soon as you start moving you're going to be surprised as all the strength and the willpower that you're going to put into that Okay, you're going to be surprised by that. You're going to be surprised how you're going to carry the world in your hands. You're going to be surprised. You're going to be surprised in how much you had in you that you didn't know. You're going to be surprised by that. You have the seven of wands in the reverse. And again... This card, and this was in the reverse, I'm just showing you. This card is about somebody lying and stealing, okay? But it came in the reverse. So I think that nobody has lied or steal. I think that... I think it's the same message that you you're gonna have so much power you're gonna have so much power that everything that you've been working on other people are gonna feel like it's so much work and for you because you're gonna have so much strength coming from your core coming from the inside that is gonna be so easy it's like it's given it's like it's stolen it's like it's taken because it's gonna it's gonna flow you're gonna when you make that choice when you do that thing that you're hesitant but that you know it's gonna take you to the next level for you to be successful in whatever this is you're going to find a strength inside of you that you didn't know you had and things are gonna flow so easily 
that it's gonna feel like somebody just handed it to you. And that's not the case at all. Not at all. So this is where you're at. You are so worried about this, okay? That you are sleeping, that you are having sleepless nights, you may be having nightmares, you are just completely stressed out. You know how you fall asleep at 10 o'clock and then at 1 or 2 in the morning, you're just awake like it's 3 o'clock in the afternoon and you cannot go back to sleep because your brain is going and going and going and going and going and going. So if you feel like that, if you feel like you're, you cannot stop your brain and your brain doesn't shut up and you cannot go back to sleep, um, contact me because I'm working on a lot of that with, um, some clients that I have. Uh, so, so go to my website or send me an email because I'm working with a lot of women who are having this issue and, and they're having a lot of success with it. So anyhow, so, you know, you're so stressed out about this step that you know that you need to take, but something about it makes you uncomfortable and any change is uncomfortable so it's not uncomfortable in a weird way it's uncomfortable like i have never done that and it's just kind of stretching me out a little bit so you are worried about it you're stressed out about it because it's taking you out of your comfort zone so look then you have the hangman and the hangman has given himself some time to isolate, to think, to go into meditation or to go for a walk with your dog, you know, but think, think about it and, and be illuminated because that's what the hangman does. It finds illumination. This is some Pisces energy. Uh, so, you know, when, when you finally decide to do this, it's because you gave yourself some time to ponder upon these things. And, ta -da! you know, you saw the light. All right. So what is what you need to hear? What is what you need to hear? You see, I'm having trouble picking up these cards. I think I'm going to put a tablecloth. Do you think that will help? I think that will help. Because I'm having a hard time picking up the cards. I don't know why. Okay, the River Queen. Flow, letting go, natural movement. I mean, isn't that what we were saying? Just go with the flow. Do what you need to do. Because after you do that, you're just going to flow. Things are going to just go. That's what we were talking about. As soon as you make that choice of um of taking the next step as stressful as it is as uncomfortable as it may be you're gonna find that strength inside of you that you didn't know and you're gonna take that uh that um what am i trying to say <sighs> victory lap that's what I was trying to say. You're going to take that victory lap and you're going to flow. And that's exactly what this is saying. This is what you need to hear. Just go with the flow. Just let go of all that stress. Let go of the fear. Let go. You know, fear is a real thing. That's a thing. Okay. But most, it's also a thing that most of the things that we worry about never come to fruition. Like 90 some percent. I mean, it's a ridiculous number. So let it go. Let it go. If, if, if there's something that you can have impact upon, if whatever stresses you out, you can do something about it, do it. If you can't, let it go. Because you know what? The, enemy, the universe got you. It, it got you. Yeah. And it's number 36. We've gotten so much the three energy of the Empress. Uh, and that's the creative, feminine, open uh, energy. 
and then the six, which is unconditional love. And then together makes a nine, which is mastery. Mastery. So you're going to master this. And you're going to master this so much that even though you are moving slowly at the beginning, your offering is of love. Because whatever this is for you is important. It's important enough for you to worry about it. If you didn't care, you wouldn't worry about it. So whatever you're doing, whatever this is for you, is out of love. It's from your heart. It's from your heart. And you know, this, the judgment card to me is karma. This is the promise of the universe that they got you. That things are going to be made right for you. These are going to, things are going to be all right. And when people have done you wrong, don't worry about it. The universe is going to take care of that karma. Like karma is taking care of you right now. You know, there's good karma and bad karma. The good karma usually is called dharma, but we call it all karma, right? So because you've been a good person, because you've done things from the heart, things are going to be made right. Even though there may be, you know, things that happen because that's life, you know, it's not going to be smooth sailing. Whoever tells you that from now on, the rest of your life is going to be smooth sailing is lying. Because there's going to be issues no matter what. No matter who you are, no matter how much money or not money you have, the issues are just different. But everybody has issues. But things are going to be okay. And the universe promised you that. Okay? And then we end up with the page of swords in reverse. And the page of swords in reverse, um, it's, it's somebody that, um, don't like to tell the truth or embellishes the truth, you know, and you are changing all of that. The fact that is in the reverse, well, the reverse energy is that, right? But it's, it's saying that because your offering is from love and because the universe is promising you doing the right thing and because you have chosen to take in that next step and because you gave yourself time to think and be illuminated you're changing and i'm not saying that you're a liar because you know if you're here you're probably not a liar but maybe uh you're gonna be more positive so it's a change in the way that we think and we speak, okay? So you are being more positive. Even if you started being positive, you're going to be more positive, okay? In the way that you speak, in the way that you think about things, in the way that you see things, you're going to be more positive. How about the good stuff? And this is all good, okay? The auto, Ultima Equinox release i'm gonna say the autumn equinox because i cannot say that word autumn equinox uh it's a release and maybe there's some timing in this um that the success that is building up in all of this that told us at the beginning that it was going to be successful because that's what you're focusing on right now. You're going to see like a completion of it in the autumn. Uh, and autumn is what? Um, October, November? No, it's September, October, November, right? I think that's what it is. Uh, that's the fall. Uh, so yeah, you're going to to see like a peak not that you're not going to grow beyond that but i think during this time you're going to be like 
wow. You're going to look back and you're going to be like, wow, look at that. Look what I did. You're going to continue to grow. That doesn't mean that you're going to stop growing. That doesn't mean that that's going to be the peak and then it's going to go down. No, no, no. It's just that you're going to see then how much you have grown. You know how you start working on something and you get into this mode and, and, and you don't see how well you're doing until something kind of stops you and say, no, 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 look back. Oh, wow. Yeah. I've traveled a lot. So I think that's what's going to happen in the uh, in the autumn, in the in the fall. Okay. And where you did not see choices before, you're going to be to see choices because you were blindfolded, because you were tired, because you were overworked, because you know, you whatever it is, you this was in the reverse. This is the two of swords and he was in the reverse and this lady is blindfolded. But when you put it in the reverse, that blindfold is going to fall off. So when the blindfolds fall off, you're just going to see clear, right? And where you didn't know what choices you had in front of you, now they're going to become very clear. Very, very clear. And even though right now, and this is the six, um, six of pentacles, and it was in the reverse, even though in, um, you know, during this process, because, you know, you're, you're feeling stuck, you're feeling stressed out about this, uh, this, um, choice that you need to make. And even though the, you know, this is, this, this is the energy, this is, this is the past, this is the present, this is the future. So you're feeling a little stingy. You, you really feel like you cannot be generous with your money or with your time because you're doing all this stuff and this is stressing you out. Um, so you're, you're not feeling very, very generous. But all of that is going to change because this is the good stuff. So you are going to get so much more energy. You're going to feel an, an injection of energy that that, um, that that energy is going to change, that feeling is going to change. And maybe that's also that you're uh, being wise about saving your money for this big project that you have, okay? And then we end up with the King of Cups. And I keep telling you that this is marriage material, you know? And if we're not talking about romantic relationships or marriage or anything like that, this is just a really good energy. This is just a very good energy. This is somebody that is compassionate. This is somebody that is stable. This is somebody that is open. This is somebody that knows to talk about feelings. So if that's not somebody that you're going to meet or this is somebody that you have become or this is what you're going to have at the end, this can also be a situation. It's going to be a situation that is going to be generous and stable and open and flowy and beautiful, okay? Because it's successful. That's where we started. That's where we started. It's going to be successful. It's not only going to be successful, you're going to find some strength inside of you that you didn't know you had. And then you're going to end up in this energy of compassion and openness and loving and all of that. Because that's your offering. Remember, we talked about that. Your offering is an offering of love. What you're putting into this project, whatever the project is, is your heart is a lot of love. Fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. So if um, if you find this to be helpful to you, please give me with a like, um, uh, you know, a thumbs up because uh, any kind of interaction, the likes, the emojis, the comments, all tell you too that you find um, this content uh, to be helpful to you. So it promotes it better. Okay. And 
we all want to grow like you want to grow in your project whatever that is i want to grow here because this is my passion this is what i like to do so please help me in that way it's completely free for you you just have to click that little button and maybe leave an emoji if you don't want to put in a comment that's perfectly fine uh, and with that i'll see you tomorrow bye guys